My name is Jess Cramp, and I am a shark researcher and responsible marine conservationist. Incredible. Lots of hammerhead sharks. Frisky, silky shark. Huge yellowfin tuna. Massive snapper. I've never seen anything like it. I'm studying the effectiveness of marine reserves on wide-ranging animals. And the first thing I did was I dived into the policies. I wanted to look at the laws that were actually outlined to do this, like, quote-unquote, protection. But unfortunately, one of the very, very first things I uncovered is that while we think there are, you know, all these protected areas and all these places, in fact, a lot of these don't have any laws at all. They were never written. We really need to follow through and we really need to make sure that these laws not only exist, but that they exist to the effect that they are protecting both the species and think about the people that utilize that area because they need to be enforceable. And if they're not enforceable, then they don't work, then what's the point? To me, what's key about creating impactful policies in ocean conservation is actually first, understanding why you're creating the policy. Are we creating it for a political win or are we creating it because a species or area actually needs protection? I like to refer to that as responsible conservation. So I feel like as conservationists, we need to be more responsible about the policies that we do create. Um, but then on top of that, that responsibility doesn't stop once the announcement is made. It means that we continue to show up and ensure that the locals actually buy in. Then they will then keep the gas on their politicians to ensure that those are actually upheld. It's awesome when we go out and we make these commitments to save a species, but if there's no backbone there, then it's really kind of useless, right? And that backbone mattered to me, and whether or not you know, the numbers of sharks or the numbers of fish um, that we said we were protecting, if, if, if they weren't being protected, then, um, then I felt like a fraud. And it doesn't sound glamorous, but to me it's really exciting and fun. It feels like uh, exploration in a way, because you're trying to look at things through the lens of someone who's trying to break that law, and you look for loopholes and you look for, um, for ways that they can be improved so that you can improve the lives of the animals that need it and for the people who are relying on those resources.